time to get a blow time to get a time to get a blow up like I'm blowing up like you thought I would I'm blowing up like you thought I would and if you don't know I'm blowing up like you thought I would I'm blowing up like you thought I would promise it's all good I'm blowing up like you thought I would I'm blowing up like you thought I would and if you don't know I'm blowing up like you thought I would I'm blowing up like you thought I would it's all good Good morning, good afternoon. It's JH. I haven't seen this person in since Christmas. My daughter decided after work that she was gonna come visit. I haven't seen her since Christmas. So we're gonna try to figure out what she's been up to in a very short video okay um mom's over there we're gonna make mom useful mom come hold this camera woman <sighs> you're sitting on glass but we gotta turn it around hmm? so you can see it there you go I'm not feeling good, people. Anyway, um, how you been, kid? Um, it's been good. It's been good? Yeah. Well, in general. Oh, I covered that part anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, life is okay. Okay? It is okay. So you made your two years. Uh, yes, I'm on my CCA five-day break. Mm-hmm. Starting today, today's the first day. Nice, nice. Uh, so you made it through. It's been almost a year since we had an interview with you. Yes. And you still haven't paid me back what you owe me. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> so two years in, what do you, what do you think? You think, um, what's changed? Hmm, I have to rewind back. Um, nothing's changed physically with the job. The job is still the same. But, as I went up the ranks, now I'm number one. <laughs> okay. And now I'm starting to feeling the benefits. You're starting to feel the benefits? Yes. Okay. I'll give an example. Uh, -huh. uh we have two offices. Right. And I'm in the second office. They sent everybody beneath me to the first office, and I stayed. Did you stay? Okay, good. <laughs> so you pulling that seniority thing? Seniority. Up here. Up there. Okay. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um. So I noticed that when you did your taxes, you only made five thousand dollars less than I did for the year. Yes. I've been driving trucks before you were born. You've been carrying mail for two years. Yes. I'm a little perturbed. Why? This is what a carrier can make. So when carriers keep saying, oh, you want to become a truck driver, this carrier made $5,000 less than me, a 25-year truck driver. Dead. And still hasn't paid me back what she owed me. I'm sorry. You, and you take install me? Install what? Uh, anyway, um, there's a lot of people that are, uh, you know, we got a bigger fan base now. So mm -hmm. anything you want to give advice to, because um, I know that I made a video. You don't even watch my videos. Um, there was women that have been complaining about this job is not for women. Whoa. Mm. I said it. I said. There's it. a lot of women that do this job. Oh, oh okay. Well, what do you think? Uh. It, it can be a woman's job too. It's okay. both both sexes, both okay. genders, right. any gender you are, you can do the job. It doesn't matter your physical, your physical uh, body or anything. What are they talking about? <laughs> it's just a matter of you uh, putting in the work. Putting in the work. Yes. It's not easy. No. A lot it's of hours. A lot of hours. How many hours you average? Um, every two weeks, like eighty-five, ninety. Eighty-five, ninety hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, in one week I 
I average at least 55 hours. So 55 times two is like... It's okay. 110. Yeah. You still can't do math. Did you graduate college? Yeah. All right. Well, that's like my less. But like, this week has been good for me anyways. Okay. All right. So what tips would you give a new CCA coming in? I realized after I looked at my analytics that almost 60% of my audience is CCAs. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Well, now because the new contract is in, you have more incentive to stay. So because of that incentive, mm -hmm. if you start one of your TSP, um, all those benefits, I think is a good, it's a good job to do for two years, you know, sacrifice, do the best you can be, do the best that you can do. Mm -hmm. And you know, get those benefits because everybody wants those benefits. Nobody wants to go in a job and not have benefits in the future. So I think if benefits wise, take the job, get through the two years and then you're there. Other advice I would give, hmm, you know, I haven't been a new CC in a while. Oh my God. You know, number one. Yeah. Um, follow direction. That's all I can say. If you don't follow direction, you're not going to succeed. Not going to succeed. Yeah. If they tell you to do something, do it. And then talk to your, uh, your union. Union yeah, later. Okay. Because then, you know, you know how that goes. I, yeah, I do. So. So overall. Overall, follow direction. Okay. Follow direction and also eat healthy, drink lots of water. And try to get some workout, some stretches and workout in the morning. A little 15 minute, 10 minute, just to get your body warmed up and ready. Warmed up and ready. Okay. I'm, I'm never warmed up. I just go. I work out in the morning. Okay. It was good for you. Thank you. You still haven't paid me back. Installment. Installment. Anyway. anyway um, so in closing, mm -hmm. what, what would you, um, I know you, you, you did your college, you graduated, you got all that stuff. Um. Now you're about to, you know, get your full benefits. I had a real serious question. I'm sure you encounter uh, FedEx delivery <laughs> people. You uh, you encounter UPS and definitely Amazon, right? Definitely. Can I tell you a story? Tell us the story. So I was delivering mail at an apartment complex and this Amazon worker came to me and asked me, hey, can you help me with my parcel walker? So I literally figured out his phone to open his parcel locker while I'm on the clock. Oh, well, you on the clock. I'm on the clock, doing my mail. Doing your mail. Stop what I'm doing to help him to open his parcel locker. Oh, that's Amazon. Amazon. Mm. He was like, I don't, I don't know how to do it. Can you help me? I'm like, oh. you USPS? That's, that's what you but want. But you know, Okay. good Samaritan. Good Sam, okay. So. All right, all right. You know what's ironic is you're on your break and uh, Mom is on her break. Yeah. At the same exact time. So, uh, Mom, have a seat next to baby. And, uh, yeah, that's age right there. Okay, good, good. We still going. We still, we still chopping it in. Okay, all right. What are you over? Never mind. You're hey, over man. it? Hi. I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Oh, this is good. So you've been a year in. Ooh. Yes. How would you rate your experience on your side of things? Um, Completely honest, but real. Mm. In all honesty, all mm. honesty, it's difficult. Difficult. It's still difficult. Uh, I mean, it, the job itself is easy. I'm not going to say that's hard. Um, but the physical part of waking up early morning okay. is hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard when you hit 56. It's, you know, it messes with your sleep pattern. Hey, call it what you want. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> anyway. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's, it's okay. I can't understand how you both got a year in. I mean, like, you're on your break at the exact same time. I know. We were talking about yeah. that. Yeah. We're a day apart. Like, that's crazy. That like, is crazy. I still haven't gotten a vacation. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I see how much you guys care about that. Anyhow, um, so I know eventually you're gonna you're gonna convert and uh, start doing your window training. You've done a full year, still haven't done your window training. Um, and a lot of people think that, you know, when they becoming, you know, they come in as a PSC uh, sales service and distribution clerk, that they're just going to be doing the window. Um, and that's you. How many times have you done the window? Uh, never. Never. A year in, never did the window. Never did the window. Okay. And only mail. Only mail. Mail, PO box mail, and Amazon. Okay. All right. So it's not a common thing. It is, it isn't, but eventually you'll get there. When I'm a they, small office. When, when, when the need is there, they will uh, train you for it. Okay. Um, if you had a chance to do it all over again, Tasia, would you? Okay. <laughs> no, I no? wouldn't. Really? I'm glad that I went through this. I think I grew a whole lot with this job, and I met incredible people and experienced so many incredible things. But I, I think I would go a different route because of how hard it is. Amazon. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> but my plans in the future is eight hour list, baby. Okay. So you're gonna get on the regular 40 hour a week? Yes. And two days off? Yes. That way you can breathe. I can breathe. Okay. Just for that first quarter. Just, and after that. You're gonna get back on the grind. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, another story. Oh, man. Story time. Because I'm number one. Number one. <laughs> I get a call today. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm not going to call you again. But do you want that hold down? I'm like, yeah. What is a hold down? A hold down is when there's many routes. If somebody's out for a couple of, uh, couple of weeks, mm -hmm. I get that hold down. So, see? You get I'm to number. hold down their route. Hold down their route. While they're out. Mm -hmm. Okay, my knees are hurting, so I'm gonna move over a little bit. Okay, give them a data. Um, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, what about you, Sham? Would I have done something different? Would you do it all over again? Do you think that you progressed any in this situation with the post office? I've progressed a little bit, but. It's still, to me, it's still difficult. I'm not even gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. It's hard, especially when you got little kids. Okay. Because they don't care. Right, they don't care. No, I they know. do not care. So that's my dilemma. So somebody that has little kids that's attached to their kids, what do you think? If you're not ready for it, try something else because it's not for you. Not for you. No. What about your kids, Asia? My guinea pigs? I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. All right. So, you finally got your week break in. You got your week break in. Y'all about to go out and party while I'm about to go to sleep. This is how life is, huh? Period. Yeah. Okay. All right. In closing, is there anything that you both would like to say? For a PSC processing clerk, I'm sorry, a distribution clerk. If you're gonna do it, be ready for hard work. Keep your head together. Keep your nose clean. And just make the money. Make the money. Make the money. Because yeah. it is good money. So, money ain't everything. Okay. Yeah, money's not everything. It's precious. Okay. <laughs> I would say just time manage yourself. Time manage. And two two x on what she said because it's a lot of work. Both sides is heavy, no matter what you do. But if you want the money, even though money's not everything, but if you want to create a generational wealth in your family, I think this is the best way to start. Generational wealth. You use a big words. I gotta look that up. All right, generational wealth. If you want something to hold your family together, this is it. Okay, holding it down. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is uh, J H. Um, and and yeah, them. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Sheesh. We can do that together. <laughs> yeah.